Hello there, Taylor with the Armageddon Report. Let's talk about all the stuff going on. First, let's talk about the areas of interest. So we can disable the spaghetti models, and then I'll show you why. So here's a new one, low chance of tropical cyclone formation. This one, the spaghetti models, not a whole lot of consensus on that one. This has been upgraded to medium, medium chance in the next 24 hours. These are per the JTWC, the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. So but that could potentially impact Japan. And then I'm going to disable the spaghetti models because why? They're the things that are crossing the international dateline and causing a whole bunch of clutter on the map. So there's still Jellowat. Jellowat is still Typhoon status, apparently the equivalent of a Category 1 hurricane. Iwinia has had its final advisory. So much more it's it's disorganized it's degrading or whatnot degrading is not the word they use debilitating itself i don't know here are the warnings that are in effect right now so all of the red stuff typhoon warnings and we've got gear warnings out here some storm warnings in all of the pinkish areas as per the jma the marine warning page so that's what's going on in the northwest pacific there's four areas of interest over here in the eastern pacific we have former Tormenta Tropical Norman, who's now Tropical Depression Strength. In fact, if you, which one is it? Wide view. If you look at that, you can't even hardly tell that there's a tropical cyclone there. So Norman, in fact, I believe they put, yeah, Norman expected to become a remnant low later today. Right. And then Nadine, let's turn off the satellite view. Nadine, just kind of booking about, hanging around. Potential impacts to the Azores Islands at a future point. That would be probably towards the six or seven day range. And of course, that far out, things could change. Maybe Nadine will do some more circling about. Let me show you a new feature. Yes, if you go to, for instance, Norman's page and you go to Espanol. Yes, now the drop down will say tormentors instead of storms and take you directly to other espanol pages and of course i bring that up because uh, also if you go to the english pages at least earlier i think i fixed that bug sometimes it would think that the page you are on was in espanol and it would give you the english page for instance here and it would tell you about the tormentors and take you directly to the spanish versions of pages which is of course not the desired behavior you know unless you want to just play i i'm feeling lucky give me a random language i'm gonna see if i can translate it myself so yeah, that's what's going on. The four storms of which N Nadine and Jellowat probably being the most interesting because the other two probably going to be no longer tropical cyclones quite quickly. Right, severe thunderstorm-wise, yeah, 5% yeah. chance of winds, 2% chance of a tornado. Not a whole lot today. And, and of course, also, not a whole lot the rest of the days. 5% chances so far. Days 4 through 8 is predictability too low, so maybe there's something on the long. The medium range, that would be medium range, days 4 through 8. So here's the wind map. This is the probability of winds 58 miles per hour and greater, 65% chance for these areas today. Hail, not a threat at all. If it were, it would be one inch or larger, that's severe hail. Tornadoes at all are oh, a severe weather event in the United States, so yes, yeah, 2% chance. So for instance, if you're not familiar with what does it mean, this 2% chance, you can pick this random point in Texas and then, you know, think of a 25 mile radius circle around it. Yeah, and that means that there's a 2% chance the tornado may happen somewhere in that circle. So if you're in the green area somewhere, that means that, like, you might not personally get the tornado, but a neighbor does. I don't know. Hopefully it's a neighbor far, far away. You know, so that the mailbox doesn't end up in the side of your wall or something. That could happen, right? Yes. So, BillWeatherTV.com is the official homepage of the screencast. Yep. WikiWix is W I C K E D W X dot com. Cyclocade is C Y C L O C A N E dot com. And don't hold me to it, but I do hope to have a fully translated Spanish version in the future. And in the future could mean anything from like next week to next. Millennia. Millennia. Is that the word or is it millennium? Anyway, that's it for today. Hope you are enjoying your lovely weekend and take it easy.